<laughs> no way. So, so guys, guys, look at this. 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 So I, I did the thing again where I uh, tried to beat oh, uh, ChatGPT, and I it kind of worked. I was like, I was arguing with it like crazy. This time I used a rectangle instead of a uh, a triangle because it was a, li a little bit easier. And now look, so I went through all this arguing again. <laughs> it was it was quite tiring to be honest. Yeah, because this thing is kind of dumb. But then, <laughs> look at that. I tried to give it like conditions, but it's still just, it kept giving me a square. I asked for, that, like, I, I'm pretty sure a square is literally the smallest perimeter possible. Here, the, the initial question was, find the perimeter, the maximum perimeter possible of any rectangle with an area of one it kept giving me a, a square which i'm pretty sure a square with an area of one is literally the smallest perimeter possible or the shortest perimeter possible which is just ridiculous so what i did was I, at one point i was just so done with it, so i told it how about i teach you the correct solution which it said i would appreciate that so i gave it this solution which shows that the correct way and then it said you are correct thank you for providing co the correct solution i apologize for my earlier mistake and now i asked it to answer the question again correctly this time and it actually gave me the correct answer so chat gpt is now my math student i made chat gpt my math student it learned math from me i'm its math teacher that's how it works right for me to be a teacher i just have to teach math and if someone learns math from me, I become a math teacher. So now ChatGPT is my math student. Very nice. I beat ChatGPT and now I'm ChatGPT's math teacher. I'm so happy.